different methods of plant propagation. Marketing What is marketing? Air layering, also known as marketing, is a way of getting clones of woody plants that are often difficult to root from cuttings. This method involves propagating a new plant from a branch still attached to the parent plant by getting roots to form on the branch. For the materials, we need sharp knife, plastic sheets, elastic bands. This one is optional. You can use whatever ties you want as long as the soil is properly sealed. And lastly, the gloves for safety purposes. In marketing, you need to select branch for air layering. Here, I choose a calamansi or lemoncito. The scientific name for it is Citrofortunella microcarpa. It is a popular citrus food in the Philippines. Growing calamansi tree is a very awesome thing. It gives many fruits that can be used to make juices or mix with foods to get a sour taste. In growing this tree, you can use seeds, the grafting method, or marketing. Any of that methods can be useful. But what are the steps on how to market calamansi tree? First, let's know more about marketing calamansi. Calamansi trees can be propagated through marketing. It means that you can grow more trees through the use of the branches. This technique is a very helpful and great way in growing trees compared to starting with a seed. Seed takes time to germinate and grow before you will see it bears fruit. How to market calamansi tree? First, let's pick a branch. On your tree, pick a good branch to use in marketing. You can use old big branches or smaller ones. Old big branches take long to roots, so choose younger, smaller, and color brand branches. Avoid those to green. Second step, remove branch skin. Usually, a branch with the size of a pencil is chosen for this procedure, but that is not necessary at all times. It varies from the kind of tree. Make a two-cut or girdle on the bark of the tree about 3 to 5 inches apart using a knife or cutter. Move the knife in a circular motion around the stem. Remove the strip of bark from the tree. Carefully scrape the stem to remove the slippery coating to prevent the wound from healing and reconnecting. This step is critical because if you do not remove the slippery coating, the wound will heal and a new bark will appear and the roots will not appear and grow. Third step, get some soil or moss. Put and coat the wet soil around the bark stem by pressuring it using your palm and fingers. You can use gloves if you don't want your hands to become dirty. Make sure it surrounds the whole part of the branch. Fourth step, Cover with transparent plastic. Tightly wrap around the soil with a transparent plastic sheet. Next, use the thread, string, or any material to tie it to the branch. But in my case, I use two elastic bands, but make sure that it is strong enough and it will not fall. If you are using moss or loam soil, you need first to tie the plastic on one end of the branch, then put the soiled materials inside the plastic and then tie it on another end. Dun, 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 dun. When everything's done, what you need to do is to wait. If you use a smaller and a little bit of young branch, it will grow roots around 30 to 45 days while for those older and bigger sizes of branches, it will take around 3 to 5 months to grow roots. Should you water it? If you are using mud soil, watering will be rare or no watering at all. It will be moist inside the plastic for a long time, but if you see that it's too dry because of hot weather, you can water it to make it moist. Loam soil and moss dry faster and you need to water them every 3 to 5 days. The watering will depend upon if the soil materials are too dry, but if they are still moist, no need to water them. And that's it! I hope you gained knowledge in this video and I hope it would be a great help for you to start marketing trees around your areas. Let's promote and plant new trees to save our Mother Earth. This has been Maxine J. De La Rosa from BTL at HE Second Year, Section A. Thank you for watching. Stay safe and God bless.